Hi, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to create a collection with password protected records. This could be useful when you want to, for example, publish a list of documents, but you want to restrict the access to them to certain users who knows the password. So I have already created the uh, prototype screens. Uh, this is the screen for uh, document list and search, and this is the screen for document view. And here is the uh, database of the documents. It's called PP documents. So we have this uh, document name, content, doc ID, and doc password. And I have already added three records. Uh, I'm using uh, digital uh, num numeric passwords because uh, if you're sending in the information about the document to some counterparty, uh, you will need to send the password as well. So uh, no reason to store them uh, in hidden. So let's start. Uh, first, we're going to create the search uh, field for the document ID and uh, to enter the password. So we will add two input fields. Uh, so it's going to be input doc ID. And this will be input doc password. And we'll add the uh, text so user understand what's happening. And we need to add the submit button to view the document. Uh, let's call it view. Uh, this button will uh, link us to the document view screen. So let's add an action to link to the other screen. Uh, now let's set up uh, the procedure of uh, getting your documents. Uh, here we'll do some uh, hint so we will convert this button to the list. We'll make a list out of it, and it will be a list of documents. So uh, in normal cases, uh, we have a list of all the documents. We don't need three buttons. We need just one button. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to filter uh, this list uh, with a custom filter, and we will compare the doc ID uh, with the doc ID entered in the input field. So uh, then only those documents, only the document with this ID will be displayed. Uh, so the button will appear on the screen. So uh, by the way, I forgot to make the input a uh, number to restrict uh, non numeric inputs. Uh, and uh, if we, uh, okay, we have created the list, so uh, we have already added the uh, transition and we are pushing the document to, uh, to the view screen. Uh, now let's set up the view screen. So we have, uh, let's display the name and content doc. It's gonna be doc name from current document and uh, Content will be uh, current document doc content. Okay, but how do we check the password? And we are going to do that uh, with the conditional uh, appearance of the button. So we set up the button in a way that it is, uh, sorry, it's not here, it's uh, going to be sometimes visible and it will be visible only and only if the value of the password for current docu document is equal to the value user enters in this field. So we select here for inputs, input doc password. So now it will work in a way that if uh, password is not entered or entered incorrectly, this button simply will not appear. And as long as password is entered correctly, the button will appear. Let's test how it works. 
Okay, so this is a preview app, access documents list. So you see that there is no button. We can enter the document ID, it's 1001. Uh, now we enter the password. If we enter the password incorrectly, it doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This was the password for this document. View. You see document name and uh, document content. So if the password is incorrect, nothing is displayed. However, there is um, some potential problem which we have. So let's enter another ID. The password is from 8 to 1. So we view the document and imagine uh, we just copy the link of this document and send it to someone. And here is the private uh, incognito screen. We And you see that the document is being displayed which is not very good. We want user to be, enter password anytime. So we will uh, make some workaround to hide the document content. So in order to protect the doc, uh, we will uh, make this content also visible conditionally. So we will uh, make it sometimes visible only if the document password is equal to the password uh, entered in the doc password form. So let's test how it works. Uh, let's enter another document. It has eight eats as a password so we press view and we have document name here and we have the co document content here so now we copy the uh, url to incognito window let's see so you see that the page it opens and there is a name however the content is not displayed so we have protected the document uh, against unauthorized reading when the password is not entered. So of course it could be done to the uh, also to the name or to some part of the pages, as, uh, etc., etc. So we of course can enhance the uh, concept. For example, we can add a list. Let's move it lower, and we will add a list of documents. Uh, let's uh, where is it here? So add a custom list. It's gonna be a list of uh, a list of documents, uh, and we add a title as a document title and subtitle. For example, we add an ID and we add a button to the list, uh, like let's call it view select it's better so uh, select button and we add an action for this button that we change input value of input doc id with the value of current doc id so then we will have a uh, something like this that the user goes to the document screen uh, he or she sees all the documents and for example select this one and then enters the password and then he or she is able to view the documents thanks for watching this tutorial i hope you liked it uh, of course this is just a concept and you can enhance it according to your needs uh, like, share, enjoy and stay tuned for more videos from me. Thank you.